now let us discuss about electrical pressure transducer so as we know transducer is a device which converts some non electrical quantity into an electrical quantity similarly electrical pressure transducer is a transducer which converts pressure the quantity called as pressure into an electrical parameter so here there are uh, different methods are used based on which the pressure can be converted into different types of electrical parameters such as the change of resistance of an elastic material such as wire the change in the capacitance when the distance between the capacitor plates is varied the conversion of changing pressure into electrical voltage signals creation of voltage by the movement of coil within a magnetic field due due to change in pressure generation of voltage or current through the use of uh, photoelectric effects and the torque balance system so based on these uh, different methods used uh, for converting pressure into different types of electrical parameters there are different types of electrical pressure transducers which are mentioned here those are resistance type pressure transducers pressure voltage type inductive type capacitive type carbon pile type piezoelectric type photoelectric type and electromagnetic type so these are different types of uh, electrical pressure transducers which we are going to study in the subsequent chapters now we are going to study the different types of uh, electrical pressure transducers in detail so let us see first one resistance type pressure transducers so in case of resistance type pressure transducers the quantity pressure is measured in terms of change in resistance there are two types of resistance type pressure transducers one is strain gauge another one is moving moving contact type resistance transducers so let us study these two types of resistance type pressure transducers so let us see first one strain gauges so this is the diagram of a simple strain gauge resistance type pressure transducer it consists of a grid wire it consists of wire in the form of grid and which is attached over a ceramic or paper backing and the external leads are taken from these grid wires a strain gauge is simply a fine wire in the form of a grid when the grid is distorted the resistance of the wire changes that means when pressure is applied over this grid grid wire then the dimensions of this grid wire changes that is its length and cross sectional area will change and therefore the resistance of this wire also changes so therefore this change in the resistance is measured across this wire which gives the value of applied pressure across it so the change in the resistance is according to the formula r is equal to rho l divided by a where rho is the resistivity of the wire l is length of the wire a is cross sectional area of the wire as the strain gauge is distorted by the elastic deformation element its length obviously increases and its cross sectional area reduces both of these will cause increase in the resistance of the grid wire so this increase in the resistance is measured which gives the value of applied pressure as more pressure is applied so the resistance will increase accordingly and that resistance is major since little distortion is required 
to change the resistance of a strain gauge through its total range. This type of transducer can be used to detect very small movement. That means it is used to measure very small pressure changes. So in this way, uh, this strain gauge can measure pressure. Now let us see second type of resistance pressure transducer is moving contact type resistance transducer. So this is the diagram of moving contact type resistance transducer. So this is the pressure where this is the part where we are applying pressure and this is the bellows over which pressure is applied and bellows is connected to spring and this is a fixed contact and the spring is connected to a slider which slides over the resistance element and lead wires are taken across the resistance element which is variable one. So now when pressure is applied on top of the bellow so when pressure is applied so this moves the spring this moves the bellows in the downward direction the spring contracts and because of which the slider it moves across the resistance element so obviously this will change the resistance value of this resistance element and this change in the resistance is measured with the help of bridge any of the bridges which are used for the measurement of resistance so this change in the resistance is measured so which gives the value of applied pressure so as more pressure is applied so there will be more change in the resistance so in this way this moving contact will measure the applied pressure in terms of change in resistance now let us see the second type of uh, electrical pressure transducer is pressure voltage transducer in case of pressure voltage transducer the applied pressure is measured in terms of change in the output voltage so change in the output voltage gives the value of input pressure so here one of the simplest of pressure voltage transducer is a potentiometer the potentiometer is used to convert a pressure signal into an electrical voltage so as you can see this is a simple potentiometer where input voltage is applied across a variable resistance so the output is this is the output output is connected to voltmeter to measure the voltage across variable resistance now this slider of the variable resistance is connected to bellows to which pressure is applied so in this case when pressure is applied to the bellows it moves the slider across the resistance and because of which the resistance of this potentiometer changes and due to this change in the resistance the output voltage across potentiometer also changes and this change in the output voltage is measured which gives the value of input pressure so therefore as more pressure is applied to the slider so there will be a huge or more change in the resistance and because of which there will be uh, there will be increased change in the output voltage across the resistance so therefore here the potentiometer is used to measure the applied pressure in terms of change in the output voltage the potentiometer should have very little friction and levers may be used to match the required movement of the potentiometer with that of bellows the signal applied to potentiometer may be relatively larger of the order of several volts so by the use of uh, potentiometer method the signal can be sent relatively to longer distance so this is about pressure voltage transducer